Redmi Note 9T 5G is one of the affordable 5G phones you can get right now. It has a lot to offer. Let's get to know the phone. Let's go. The latest addition to Xiaomi's most popular series, which is the Redmi Note, and they already sold 20 million units or phones worldwide since they release. What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here. This is all about me where I talk about Xiaomi's wide range of products. Let's start by checking what we can get out from the box. We'll have the silicon case, the SIM ejector, the phone, the warranty card and the user manual, the Type-C charging cable, and the 22.5 watts power charger. Let me point out that when I received this box, it was not wrapped in plastic. There were just some seal on the at the back. This is a drive by Xiaomi to reduce the plastic waste, which is similar to what they did on the Mi 10T Pro. Let's check out the phone exterior. This is the nightfall black color, which is a nice back fingerprint resistant texture. It is plastic, but definitely no fingerprint smudge at all. They call the back unibody 3D curve because of its curved edges. And still at the back, you can find the print label Redmi 5G and the camera panel with its triple camera and also the flash. Looking at the top, you have the second speaker, the IR blaster, and the microphone. At the side, we have the fingerprint scanner, which is also the power button and the volume buttons as well. And at the bottom, we have the headphones jack, microphone, Type-C port, and the main speaker. And on the other side, we have the SIM tray. It has a dual SIM card plus micro SD card. This is one of the highlights of this phone. Apart from this, it supports 5G, but it also has a dual 5G standby, which gives you more reasons to love this phone. It has a great 5G signal because of its 360 symmetrical antenna layout. So what it means is that it has four antennas. You have it here, 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 and here. And looking at the front, we have the 6.53 inches Full HD Plus dot display LCD screen. It is rich in colors even though it is just an LCD screen. And this has a crisp display with its 395 PPI. It is a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and 450 nits brightness. And similar to what Xiaomi has released recently, it is gentle on the eyes because of its low blue light emission certified by Tuv Rainland. So far, I don't notice any screen leak or screen ghosting. For a phone as affordable as this one, I was surprised it has some great speaker quality as it has dual speakers. Let's check it out. And now for its performance, this is what Xiaomi is famous for. Affordable with honest pricing, but the quality is never an issue. It is equipped with the MediaTek Dimensity 800U with a CPU clock speed up to 2.4 GHz. It is a 7 nanometer flagship grade manufacturing process with the GPU of Malice 657 Valhall architecture for your smooth gaming experience. And on top of all that, it comes with two variants, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gig, it has LPDDR4X RAM and UFS of 2.5. As for the 4 gig RAM and 64 gig variant, it has a UFS of 2.1. I'd like to test more about this phone's performance. I'll be doing a full review just on its performance. So make sure you subscribe, hit on the bell icon, stay tuned. Xiaomi has increased the battery charge cycle for this phone up to 800 charge cycles without significant battery capacity degradation. It has a huge battery of 5000 mAh which easily lasts more than a day. Well surprisingly, with that huge battery, this only weighs 199 grams. It has a fast 18 watts charging and it comes with a 22.5 watts charger. I had a great time testing the camera for this phone, for both pictures and also taking videos. Although I have limited access to some of the places because of the UK national lockdown, but nevertheless, I was able to capture a few. So let's talk more about this phone's camera. It is a triple rear camera. The 40 megapixel wide angle camera is the main shooter. This is the widest frame you can get because the Redmi Note 90 doesn't have an ultra wide camera lens.
and the 48 megapixel photos are great looking photos. Even when you zoom in, you will still get a clear quality. It also has a 2 megapixel macro lens. And a 2 megapixel depth sensor camera for a great portrait shot. And here are some sample night photos. You can also shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second, also 1080p videos for 30 and 60 frames per second. You can get smooth footage on the 1080p 30 frames per second, but the frame is cropped. Unfortunately, the 1080p 60 frames per second and the 4K 30 frames per second does not have an electronic stabilization. You must have steady hands or why not use a gimbal. By the way, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit on the subscribe button. Moving along to the front facing 13 megapixel in display camera. Great photo quality, but not so fantastic with low light, which is similar to other models. It has its Beautify auto enabled, but you can adjust it easily. Selfie video has an electronic stabilization, which I was surprised, but it is great that it has it. Quality wise, I would say it's normal. You'll get a decent quality. But the cool features does not end there. It is also water and dust resistant. It has NFC for your carless transactions. It is pre-installed with the MIUI 12 and the Android 10. And also it has AI face unlock. This is a great budget phone, especially if you're looking for great performance and decent camera. It is 5G and also NFC capable. It's kind of an all around budget phone. Let me know what you think. You can leave down your comments below. If you have some questions on this phone, drop them under the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.